YouTube, you saucy lot. It's your boy, the Blade Runner. Hope all is all right. Uh, anyway, the haircut we did yesterday, it was on a very, very sweet young man. Uh, now, we did a grade four on top. We did a grade zero back and sides. Couldn't do a skin fade because he's still at school, but we did a cheeky little line. Nothing too hard. But yeah, we used the teapot play and we used the teapot X trimmers uh, to basically get the haircut looking good. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a good one. See you later. Righty ho, then we're going to go straight in with the cut. We're using the teapot play, and on the teapot play is the grade four. Uh, going against the grain, you just want to be a total true grade four, and you can only do that by going against the grain. We're going to do a grade zero on the side. Uh, would like to do a skin fade, but he's still at school, and the school he's at won't let the kids have uh, skin fades. Uh, but just to give it a little bit more interest, we're going to work a little line through the side. Then come the summer holidays, he'll be back in having a full-on pattern. But anyway, I've known this lad's dad uh, probably for about 30 years. Uh, we always used to play football on the common. Uh, he's a lot better than me because I'm pretty rubbish at football or sucker. So, uh, but yeah, he's, he's a great guy, his dad, and his kid is growing up to be just the same. So yeah, just working the game with the beard brush to take any excess hairs away. Gone against the grain. Now I'm just gonna change the clipper guard up. I'm just gonna work with a grade two. So we've got a four on top. And we're just going to start working that too. Now the guards that you get with the teapot play, they're very, very good. Uh, when I'm not filming, I tend to use the guards that actually comes with the teapot clipper, but they're all the same color. And just so for video purposes, I'm using a different uh, guard system, which are different colors, so you can see exactly what I'm working with. Another good thing about this clipper is they are pretty damn quiet, almost silent. So if your client has got a little bit of a hangover, uh, yeah, this is great. It's not gonna uh, give them too much of a headache. So I'm not too fussed about going down to the uh, to the baseline uh, the, by the nape with the clipper because I'm going to be working the zero through that. So I'm not really paying too much attention to the nape at the moment with the baseline. And I'm going to put the grade three on the clipper, so I can just match up the number two that we did just then. We use the grade three and that will actually feed into the grade four that we did on top, it's the first grade. So just flicking out with the clipper helps fade the, fades the haircut in. So I've got no guard on the clipper now. So we're just gonna take out all of that hair. This is where it's very important to keep your uh, your, uh, your beard brush, because you know if you don't, especially if it's on a warmer day when you know guys can be a little bit sweaty or kids could be a bit sweaty, you know the hair doesn't totally come away from the head, it tends to stick. If you're just using that comb, a lot of the time it's not enough to take away that hair. Uh, with the beard brush, uh, that takes care of that situation. So 
So in the near future, I should be getting a, a DSLR or a mirrorless camera just to improve the quality of the videos. So I'm looking at the Canon 90D, which is what I had before. Uh, I'm also looking at the R5, uh, but that's a little bit expensive. But if anybody's got any alternatives they can offer me uh, on the Canon, like any recommendations for a really good camera, then please do let me know. So going in with grade 0 0.5. And I've got the guard open at the moment, or the lever open, should I say. Just gonna follow it all the way around. So now I've just closed the lever up, just taking out that line. So yeah, getting back to the, uh, what I was saying about the camera just then, you know, I've been using this iPhone, you know, and it's been fine, it, it, it's, it's, it's good for video, but I just feel that with a more professional camera, I'm gonna get much better quality. So yeah, guys, just yeah, let me know what you think, a, a good camera that you would like, and please don't say the Canon if the M50, because it just, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. Right, so now I've put the grade one on the clipper. So it's gonna, it's basically gonna uh, transition between the 0 0.5 what I've just used and the two that I've used a little bit earlier. So I've got it open at the moment. So now I've just closed it up. I mean, there's so many ways that you can do this. You know, I could have had it closed first and open it up afterwards, but I just find this, it works really well for me working like this on this haircut. As I've said in other videos, when you're actually fading hair out, you've got to imagine it like an eraser taking out a pencil line. You can't just go over it once and hope it's gonna come out. You've got to keep on going over it and that pencil line comes out. It's exactly the same when you're actually doing a fade. So I've put a grade 1.5 on the clipper now, and I'm just going over it and going over it and going over it. I was asked once what the difference between a good fade and an average fade is, and uh, my answer to that is it's about five minutes. That's the answer. If you spend those extra few minutes just going through it, uh, you know, you'll, you'll get a better fade.
So I've literally now I've got the guard off of the gut off of the clipper and I'm working it open and closed. That way I can just be really quite picky on the bits that I want to leave and take away. Right, working a classic technique here, working a scissor over comb. This is such an underrated technique. Any barber who wants to be a good barber really understand the scissor over technique. You're basically moving the shear blades or scissor blades twice as fast as the comb. And you can really get into a haircut and you can really take off those tiny little bits. Also, you know, if you're working like a grade four on top, as I have done, sometimes not all the hair wants to come off with the clipper. You know, it can almost like sneak underneath the guard. When you're using scissor over comb or shear over comb, you can be really picky and you can really get those little bits. So before I line him out, I'm just gonna be working scissor over comb or shear over comb, just to get it nice and even at the front. I'm going to go in with the XO trimmer, or the X trimmer, should I say. Starting from the middle, and working either side. If you are doing lineups, it really is very important just to get that client looking directly at you. Otherwise, you will not get it even. Right, so we're gonna put a tiny little line in, nothing crazy because I don't want him getting thrown out of school. Now in a couple of weeks time, when the actual proper school holidays start, the summer holidays, uh, then he's gonna come in and we're gonna do a bang on uh, design on his hair. But just for now, we just gotta keep it subtle. Just gonna remove any extra hair from his head using the hairdryer. I mean, the beard brush would have taken out most of the hair just finishing it off with the beard brush. A little bit of wax on the hair, or a little bit of clay, should I say. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope it's been some help. Uh, if it has, please don't forget to like the videos and subscribe to it. There'll be plenty of more on the way. And don't forget, I'll be looking forward to hearing your recommendations about good cameras to use. Anyway, I'm out of here. See you later. How's that look? Smash it. Did I smash it big time? Yeah. Ooh.